They laugh until I tell them how much it costs for me to run it, um, and it's very cheap. So they, you know, they not quite so. They don't laugh quite so much then when they realise that you know I've only spent thirty pounds and I've done fifteen hundred miles, and they've spent thirty pounds to do two or three hundred miles. I don't do this every day. At the moment I'm getting a reading of 66 volts. I do this as a sort of check to make sure that the instrumentation is working correctly and it's giving me a reliable reading. So this is just a, it's really only a monthly task. This is not an everyday thing. Every day you just rely on the normal instrumentation which is on the dashboard. We have the batteries in this large box and the idea is that the air draws over the top of the batteries once the cover is on uh, and is sucked out here. And the reason for that is that batteries when they're charging, uh, lead acid batteries that is, they give off hydrogen and oxygen and gas which can form an explosive mixture. There's a, quite a lot of energy stored in the batteries, about 10 kilowatt hours uh, of electrical energy. If that was all released there would be a fire of course, but if you crash your petrol car and that catches fire then there's a lot more energy stored in the petrol. made specially for electric vehicles. It's about 20 horsepower and runs on a voltage from about 60 to almost over 100 volts. At the moment I'm running it on about 60 volts. With the new batteries I'll be running it on about 100 volts so it give a much much improved performance. They convert the light from the sun into electricity. They generate about 200 watts of electrical power, which is fed directly into the batteries, uh, and that keeps them nicely topped up. It's free power, it's free electricity. It means the vehicle can go anywhere where the sun shines. I looked around and I thought, ah, oh, my transport batteries and forced to work, it's not very environmentally friendly, I'll uh, do something about that. And I'd meddled around with electronics for a long time, so I thought I'll make an electric vehicle, um, noise free, pollution free, relatively cheap to run. The vehicle itself as a prototype is not that cheap, but as a hobby and an interest and a, and a green vehicle, um, then it's done very well. I'm probably regarded as a bit of an eccentric Englishman who's just done something strange. But there we are, we're all individuals, aren't we? We're very boring if we're all the same. Yeah.